Hello and welcome Conestoga students, educators, and community members to yet another edition of Cougar Tales. Our program is filmed, edited, and directed by Mr. Trampy's broadcasting class. Our goal is to educate our school on prominent matters, provide important ideas through entertainment, and as always, to become inspired and prepared from head to tail. I'm Ellie Sachs. And I'm Bella Hogue. And, and this, this is Cougar Tales. Tales. Football will travel to Malcolm this Friday as their season winds down. As softball approaches the end of the year, they will play at Louisville for districts on Thursday and Friday of this week. Volleyball played at home and fought hard against Fall City. On Tuesday night, cross country competed in their conference meet at Malcolm. The girls earned their team spot as conference runners up. There are many girls that medaled, including Bella Hogue, who placed second, Danny Perriott, who placed sixth, Jasmine Rainey, who plays 7th. On the boys' side, Dawson Hardesty placed 11th. I'm here with One Act coach, Mrs. Slichtemeyer. How are you today, Mrs. Slichtemeyer? I'm doing well. Is it okay if we ask you a few questions? Sure. The first one is, how do you think the One Act season is going so far? Well, we're about a month and a half into the season, and we are uh, progressing really well. We constantly are trying to make this the best production ever, so uh, we're constantly working new things, and so it's con it's this work in progress. Of course, yes. Uh, so what are your major goals for this season? Uh, the biggest goal always is to make it to the state uh, competition in Norfolk, and so that's obviously a goal for us, but ultimately a goal that we always have is just to put on quality theater. Yeah. And are there any details or sneak peeks you can give us about this year's play? Well, we don't really like giving things away, but I can ensure you that anyone who comes to see this production will be able to see, yes, this is obviously a Conestoga production, there's going to be some signature things in it, but we have a few surprises up our sleeves as well. Awesome, thank you so much for meeting with us and good luck with your season. Thank you. I'm here with Jessica Williams. Jessica is one of my good friends and one of the leads in this year's One Act production. So Jess, what encouraged you to get involved with the school's One Act? Well, um, my sister was really involved with One Act, so she gave it a good rep for me. Also, I'm not good at sports or anything like that, so um, being in One Act in places where I didn't have to exert any, you know, physical activities was really good for me. So Jess, how are you preparing for your role this season? Um, this season I've been really focused on getting my lines memorized, whether that be on my own or practicing with peers, um, so yeah. Do you have any major goals for that role or for the team? Um, my goals for just the team and myself is to stay positive throughout the entire thing and to hopefully make it to state this year. And so with that and being in One Act all four years of high school, how do you think One Act has benefited you and your high school experience? I think it's really brought me out of my shell. Um, it's encouraged me to be more out there and be just really be myself during like all aspects of my life. Awesome. Well, thank you for talking with us and for telling us about this year's One Act production. Yep. Oh yeah! Alright, so today's nutrition tip, we're going to talk about macronutrients. So the three macronutrients that we need to remember are carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Each one serves a different purpose, um, but these are different nutrients that we need an abundance of throughout the day, so we need to make sure they're in our diet. The next uh, few videos are gonna actually highlight proteins, fats, and carbohydrates, so stay tuned for that. Our first macronutrient that we're gonna talk about are carbohydrates. So when we think of carbohydrates, we think of fuel for our body. So these are things that are gonna give us fuel um, to fuel our brain and our body as we exercise and go through daily life. So some good carbohydrate sources uh, would be pasta, grains, fruits and vegetables. With our fruits and vegetables, we wanna make sure that we're getting the colors of the rainbow. So not just eating just red things, we wanna eat red, uh, green, orange things with that. Um, and remember, if we don't take in our carbohydrates, we won't have energy throughout the day, so we'll be fatigued throughout the day. And then we kinda of look at um, sickness and injury with that. 
Here at Conestoga, we take pride in being home to some of the most active, involved, and selfless leaders from across the school. This week's Star Spotlight shines on cross-country star Bella Hogue. Bella is active across the school and has been a crucial member bringing cross-country back from nearly 13 years ago. I'm here with fellow anchor and good friend Bella Hogue. How are you today, Bella? I'm good, Ellie. How are you? I'm doing great. Is it okay if we ask you a few questions about your season? Of course. Uh, starting off, what's it like uh, joining a sport that hasn't been around for so long? Um, it's been interesting for sure. Um, with most sports, you have like upperclassmen or senior leaders who know like what they're doing. They've been there before, they've done it. So then when you go into a new sport, you have that leadership there. With cross country, it's new to everybody. So the only people with experience are our coaches and they're also learning along with us. So it's just been interesting to see how things work, test things out, see what works for us, and then just compete that way. Yeah, super cool. Uh, what keeps you motivated to run? Um, running is really monotonous, as you can probably expect. Um, when you're not thinking about how hard it is as you're running, um, I usually like to put a song in my head, like Respect by Aretha Franklin. I don't know why. It always <laughs> works, though. <laughs> just silly things like that just to keep me going. Yeah. Uh, what's the team dynamic like in cross country? Oh, my goodness. Um, our team is so close this year. We just have so much fun together, and the van rides, our team is small enough that we can fit in just a van. So we all hang out, talk, have fun conversations, do riddles in the van. It's just really, really fun. Awesome. Uh, what's been your favorite part of this year in cross country? Uh, definitely my teammates. That's a big one. And also just like learning everything that's new. Since obviously none of us have done this before, everything is just going to be a learning experience. And it's just been really fun to get to know my teammates and get to know the sport and see what I can do to improve next year. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Season. Thank you. Bella continues to represent the best that Conestoga has to offer. She is focused, determined, and always carries a positive attitude. Be looking for Bella's success as she competes in cross country, one act, speech, dance, track and field, and so many more activities across the school. Hi, I'm Jasmine Rainey, and looking into the weather this week, is starting with Sunday will be a high of 66 and a low of 46 degrees, with a possibility of a couple storms. Monday will range from a high of 70 degrees to a low of 61 degrees with thunderstorms. Tuesday will have a high of 65 and a low of 49 degrees with early showers and morning clouds. Wednesday will be a high of 57 and a low of 45 degrees where it might sprinkle and may be cloudy. Thursday will be a high of 58 degrees and a low of 41 degrees with rain and an increase of cloudiness. Friday will finally be a high of 70 degrees with a low of 40 degrees with rain and clouds. Saturday will <laughs> be a high of 70 degrees and a low of 48 degrees, mostly cloudy but with a little rain. If you're planning on going out, make sure you have an umbrella by your side. Hi, I'm Jacob Drake. I'm here with Miss Kreifels, our guidance counselor and the brains behind College Week. Hi, Jacob. Hi. So, Miss Kreifels, what college did you attend? Well, I attended UNL for my undergraduate degree where I got my business education degree and then I attended UNO for my master's in school counseling. And when you were in college, when you were in high school, what colleges did you consider going to? Um, for me, I mostly just considered UNL because they had the major that I wanted. There wasn't a lot of schools with specifically business education, so I looked a lot at the major that they had to offer. But then, too, that was just something that both my parents went there, so it was instilled in me that that was a place to go. But I also looked at UNK and Wesleyan a little bit. So more of a public college. Would you recommend people go to a public or a private college? I think that totally depends on what experience they want to get, what major they want to get, um, and just what they're looking for in their college experience. They have to look at all different aspects of that, but of course you got to look at the price tag too with it and make sure that you're going to end up with employment that matches what you're going to be paying back for your school. And with that, how important is a, is a student's ACT score in determining their college or where they want to go. I think that also depends. Um, some schools are more selective as far as the ACT score that you need, but also the ACT score is going to help with scholarships. Um, however, I don't think that's the sole indicator of how successful you are in college. I think what how hard you work and once you get into a major that you're really interested in, 
um, you're going to find yourself successful if you really are passionate about that. So it's important in the beginning and to help with the financial aspects of it, but I don't think that that is the only thing that students need to be thinking about. And how many times should a student take the ACT? I think that also depends. Um, more than once, I would say, but if they say that if you tend to get the same score and you've taken the ACT three or four times, that's probably the score you're going to get unless you do some intensive um, prep for it, like a John Baylor class or something like that. So um, if you are willing to put in the time for that to really up your score, then more than that. But um, probably three or four times around the same score is most students level out there. So with that, with your ACT, with all of that college knowledge, um, do you have any favorite memories from college? Um, I think just college is you get out of it what you put into it. So I have lots of memories. I was just talking to Mr. Aarons about how college week was our favorite week and we were talking about anytime we can get on a college campus it just brings back those memories of kind of a time in your life when you're figuring everything out but yet still are a little carefree more so than when you're an adult so it's just one of those times that you want to experience as much as you can. So with that do you think that college week is important like is there any big message behind college week you want to get out? Um, when I came here I started college week mostly just to kind of show how many different opportunities they are because sometimes I think students get focused on oh there's like three colleges we've ever heard of and we don't think about the big picture so um, that's really what college week is about is to get students to start thinking about it at a younger age and just see that there's so many different opportunities out there and depending on what field you want to go into and what you want to get what t type of post-secondary education you want. There's a lot of different options out there. And that's why we expanded it to the elementary this year too, to get them to start thinking about it, but celebrate it in a fun way. Super, well, thank you for talking with us and for sharing all of your college knowledge with the broadcasting class. You're welcome. <laughs>